All right, you guys, so now that you know where to get your chemicals and some of the equipment that you might need, the next step into getting your shirts printed correctly is to learn how to coat. So the first thing you wanna know is that you have to degrease your screen, whether it's brand new or if it's something that you've already reclaimed. And the reclaiming part is something that I'm gonna talk to you guys about in the future tips. So for this step, it's gonna be really simple. All we're gonna do is add our degreaser into a spray bottle. We're gonna damp the screen with a brush. We're gonna spread it evenly on both sides of the screen. And simply rinse it off. Now that our screen has been degreased properly, we're gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that it dries completely because we don't want the emulsion to get mixed up with some of the water residue that's left in the screen. Okay, so now that your screen is dry, we're gonna continue with uh, the next step and we're gonna go ahead and coat the screen. And just so you guys know, right here we have a 160 mesh screen, which is the most common mesh screen and it's considered a manual screen for the size. We have a 20 inch cross and 24 tall. For this, we're gonna use the scoop coater for the emulsion. This is a 16 inch scoop coater. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it with emulsion and coat our screen. So what I advise you to do is get a plastic spatula to make it easy for you to pour the emulsion in your scoop coater and not make a mess. Another important thing to know is if you're just getting started, I recommend that you get a small core bucket of emulsion so that you don't buy a gallon and let it sit for a long time if you're not gonna be using it. So what I do when I coat screens, I use the thinner side of the scoop coater. I bring it up slowly twice on the print side. comes down and then you want to finish on the ink side you want to make sure you have a slow and steady motion when you're bringing it up so that you allow the emotion to come to the other side so to double check you want to make sure you have a nice and glossy back side All right, so in order for your screen to dry faster, you wanna get rid of the sides, the excess, with your plastic spatula. And to let your screen dry, you wanna have it in a dark room facing this way. So if you don't have a rack, you might wanna find four items that are the same height, put them on the floor, and let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. So this is how you coat a screen, and these are the tools that you need. I personally use the UDC2 Emulsion, and it is the most recommended from me. Thanks for watching. This is tip number two. For mixing instructions on your Emulsion, make sure that you read carefully all the instructions. For the one specifically that I use, I need a diacyl sensitizer, and it's e pretty easy to mix. All you have to do is fill the diacyl up to the neck with water, mix it in the emulsion, let it sit for 30 minutes in the refrigerator, and after that, it will be ready to use.